hear very well when I told you. I just don't believe you. Her. You know, my experience with most of your police officers is that they're they're habitual liars. Are they now? Yep. But you know, that's your job as a police officer is to lie to people, right? Yeah, what's so, your, so you can get what you want. Hmm? What's your job? I work hard every day. Doing none of your business. What's your YouTube page? L Jaws. L Jaws. Mm -hmm. -W -S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of your videos got about ten thousand views. Cool. Looking like a moron. I would ask you to be with my friend Kyle. I don't know what the issues between he and I and the department are. Is everyone being paid right now? Actually, actually it is. It sure is. Yeah, exactly. So are you all being paid right now to stand around? Agent McClear. Hey, Mr. McClear, this is Kyle Jocelyn. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, I'm good. I heard you had some questions for me. No, I don't have any questions for you. It was your supervisor. The work good. I guess the, it's something to deal with Fort County. I guess your supervisor in Fort County going to talk about it, I guess. Uh, I don't have any questions for you. Well, it's it's interesting to me that, what are you, a sled agent? I, I'm an agent with the Office of Inspector General. I'm not, I don't have any questions for you at all. Who's, what they is? Thought that we, they thought that we investigate the, you know. Oh, Spartanburg. Spartanburg County Police Department thought y'all inspected it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that we are over there. We're not. We're over major crimes and corruption. That's not a major crime or corruption case. So. Uh, oh, what what crime are we suspecting? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just telling you. Come on, be honest. Be honest. Investigate. Be honest. Be honest. That's all we investigate. You, you know. Right. Um. Well, I mean, if you don't investigate it for them, uh, you made I a. Can't you, Well, you made a call on behalf of uh, Wendy Bradley, didn't you? I called to find out who, if you were for or wherever, sort of, and she just needed to see that because that's what she had heard, and she was trying to get in contact with your supervisor. That's all I know. Well, it sounds like you're investigating it for Spartanburg County. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Well, you made a call for on on behalf of Wendy Bradley. Uh, that's not an investigation, though. Oh, it's not? All right, sir. You have a good day. Uh, hey, how do I get in touch with Wendy Bradley? I'll, I'll talk to her. I got no problem with that. Uh, I guess you'll go up to Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office. You can go and tell them that you need to speak to her. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. No problem. All right. Bye. Yeah, we... Yes. Um, are you... Hello. Hello? Hey, are yes, you... I'm here. Are you uh, Wendy Bradley's supervisor? Yes. Okay. I, I had some questions for you. Um... Evidently, she spoke with a um, agent McClary and instructed him to call my supervisor at my job. Okay. Are you aware of this? What's this? What's this? this I'm not. What's going on with that? What, I mean, what, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. What, okay. What's going on? Who am I speaking with? Kyle Jocelyn. Who? Oh, hey, hey, Kyle. How are you doing there? You, you know who I am? I do, I do. Now, okay. yeah, I don't think I've, I don't think I've met you, but I, I know of you, yes. Okay. I don't yeah. think we've officially met, but I know, yes, I know I'm speaking with now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well known at the sheriff's office for, for my le yes, for my are, le sir. for my yes, legal sir. activities, my completely 100% legal activities, and so. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into all that, but I don't think I've ever talked to you personally. I don't think. Okay. I, I know, I know of you, and I know, yes, I know. But anyway, what? Talk to me about uh, Lieutenant Bradley because I'm her, I'm her captain. Yes. So I got a call, or my supervisor at my job received a call from this man who claimed to be Agent McCleary, and he said he worked for the, um, what was it, OIG, the Office of Inspector General. And he told my supervisor that he was asked by Wendy Bradley to call her and ask her some questions. And these questions were pretty much statements that were completely false allegations. Okay. And of course, my supervisor knows 
everything, the questions that were asked were crazy, and I've never done such a thing. I've worked for them for 10 years. They know me better than anyone. Oh. And and so, okay. of course, my supervisor called me right away and said, look, th these people are out to get you. I know they're out to get you, and you knew it too, and look what they're trying to say about you. So, um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, so I called the Office of Inspector General, and they claim they don't have any agent okay. named uh, Agent McCleary. So the plot well, thickens. The, the Office of Inspector General is huge, so I don't know, did you call like a Columbia office or something? Yes, and I, I actually have the phone number that Agent McCleary called from too, and I called him that same day that my supervisor got the call, and she gave me all the information, uh -huh. and I called him and uh, he claimed he was Agent McCleary with the OIG, and spoke to me for a few minutes, and he said that uh, Wendy Bradley, well, of course, I have, you know, the recorded phone call of him telling me that uh, Lieutenant Wendy Bradley from the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office directed him to call on her behalf. Yeah. And now, now, right, now, we lost the Officer McClary. We lost, he left the sheriff, he resigned from the sheriff's office. I don't, I don't know exactly where he went to work. I want to say it with the inspection general, but they have different areas and different guys that do different things. I don't know what department, if you will, that he worked for. I don't know. Okay. Well, it was... There, to the AG's office, I mean, I said AG's office, to the uh, general office, inspector general's office. Yeah, and and it was. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what area he works works in. Okay, so so you don't know anything so, about. So, okay. so I really don't know what's going on, but I can kind of talk to Lieutenant Brand. Of course, it's four thirty, and I'm sure she's already going in. But I can kind of find out what's going on tomorrow. If you want. Well, well, yes, sir. But I, I could I could probably give you a little hint of what's going on. I met with uh, Spartanburg County Sheriff uh, Chuck Wright on Saturday two days before we received okay. this phone call and I uh, inter uh -huh. interviewed him and questioned him about all of his uh, unlawful trespasses of me from public property and his officers threatening to arrest me for lawfully carrying uh, with a concealed weapons permit in a state park uh, which is a statutory right that I have um, and I, I discussed all these issues with him and then he asked me and of course this is a YouTube video you can, you can watch if you want to he asked me, uh, where do I work? And I told him it was none of his business. And he seemed to get a little upset about that. So I, I, and then I questioned all of his officers who were at this alleged trailer marking event, which just looked like, you know, an easy gravy way to make some overtime. Um, and I, he, I don't think he appreciated that much. And this is a okay. retaliation for my questioning him in public and making it public and and I am I am sure this is just retaliation for that. I've dealt with a lot of retaliation well, I, from people yeah. in your department. Yeah. Well, and I can't speak I, I can't speak for anyone here. I, I don't know if I've been I had that deal with you. I don't even know you. Okay. So I can't speak for anyone here. Yeah, so I don't even know. I can find out tomorrow what's going on with Lieutenant Brand because I don't know and uh and I don't know what any conversation you have with the sheriff. I'm, I'm not privileged to that because that's between you and the sheriff. Well, it was it was um, made in, in a public maybe. parking lot, so it's not privileged. It's 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 in oh, public. Okay. So. Okay, and this was Saturday. Yes, this was Saturday. My uh, my YouTube oh, okay. channel is L Jaws. It's posted on there if you would like to see it. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I sure will. Uh, yeah. But let me. So I'll reach out to Lieutenant Bradley tomorrow and. Uh, and then I'll find out what's going on, and uh, you going to call me back? This is my you have my office number. Yeah, I have your office number, but I mean you can give me a call back at your pleasure whenever you're done. I'll, you want my number? Okay. Let, let, yeah, let me get your number. Hold on. Let me grab my pen. Let me grab that pen, right quick. Okay. Let me grab a pen. Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead with the number. It's eight six four. Yes, sir. And. It, you know, okay, Cal, I mean, yeah. these these accusations that were made against me were just preposterous and crazy, and that's why my supervisor called me immediately and said, "Look, this is okay. the information I got." So I I really appreciate your time, and if you would call me back and, and see what's well, going on. I will. I'll, I'll give you a call probably with tomorrow Friday. It'll probably be after nine o'clock, but I'll give you a call back. 
Did someone tell you to reach out to me? Um, well, I called another officer, finally got a hold of another officer, who told me that you were Lieutenant Bradley's supervisor, and I could call okay, you. that's right, that's right, okay. That's fine, okay. okay. All right, I'll give you a call, be out the 9 o'clock tomorrow. Morning. All right, thank you for your time, I appreciate it. Okay, okay, right. thank you for calling. All right, bye. All right, bye, bye.